In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can get your ex addicted to you immediately and potentially forever. <laughs> You'll see, I'm going to share some, some coaching secrets, uh, strategies and techniques that I'm using with my clients, my WhatsApp clients. You'll see everything after the jingle. I get my ex back.com. Everyone deserves a second chance. So in order to attract someone, in order to get someone addicted to you, you need to be able to express your needs, your boundaries. What you want, what you accept, what you don't want, what you don't accept. You will never get the respect from your ex if you say yes to everything. You will never get someone attracted, i.e. your ex or addicted to you if you say yes to everything. It is fundamental because a lot of people after a breakup, because they want desperately to get back with their ex, they're thinking, okay, I'm going to compromise on everything. I'm going to say yes to everything because I want to do everything possible to get him or her back. And by doing that, you're actually deteriorating your image, you're deteriorating your self-worth and creating the condition for your ex not to get back with you. Now, the problem is obviously how can you communicate this? How you can convey those ideas, this how can you set your boundaries without looking aggressive, without creating any drama, without getting into a conflict because this is the worst thing you want to do, right? Communicating your standards, your needs, is the sexiest thing in the world. There's nothing more sexy than being with someone who knows what he or she wants who is self-assured, who knows um, the direction, the vision, who has principle, you know, you have to show, uh, to force them to respect you. And by doing that, you're going to influence them. You're going to attract them, right? If, let's do it the other way around, if you say yes to everything, if you don't show your boundaries, how can they respect you? How can they feel like, I want to admire that person? Um, there's a say, I don't remember the name of the, <laughs> the psychologist um, who, who analyzed this, but to some extent, in order to love someone, you need to admire that person. The best way for your ex to admire you, to gain respect, is to set standards and in a way you wouldn't want to be in a relationship with someone who has low standards right we all want to feel like we are luxury products desirable products okay and therefore that have standards okay and the counter example as i discussed is someone who accepts everything so don't get into the trap of saying like because i want him or her back i'm going to say yes to everything because that's what i want not going to work actually. So mistake number one and we're going to see how you can alternate between these two common mistakes. The first mistake people make is they are aggressive. Person calls you for one night stand and let's be friends with benefit obviously it's not something you want or just ask you a favor or things that you don't necessarily want and you sort of react. I can't stand that you know Treat me with respect, please. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? You know, swearing, being really aggressive. The point is not whether they are right to, to, to do that. The point is really about the communication. Okay, I don't, here on these things, I'm not gonna judge whether your ex is doing something right or wrong. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the message. What matters is how he would react to what you tell him or her. And so by being aggressive, you will upset his or her ego. You will potentially create argument and that will put him off or her off. And that's the worst thing you want. Okay, so it's very important for you. The content should always be the same. You have to set your boundaries, uh, expect your ex to treat you with respect. But be careful because if the message, you don't convey the message in the right, with the right tone, with the right intention, your ex will pull back and think like, okay, 
it's too much drama with this relationship, I'm, I'm done. It brings bad tension and it's the, the opposite of attraction. Now, mistake number two. And I'm going to give you some tips, some practical tips and examples. You're too soft. It's interesting because mistake number one, usually women make it. Mistake number two, men um, make those. Actually, let me know in the comments if you feel as if you're a woman and you feel like you're too aggressive with your ex or if you're a guy and you feel you're too soft with your ex. Because it's an intuition I get thinking about my current clients, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so you're too soft, you're too passive. Same situation. They called you on oh, uh, one night stand. Uh, you they called you to do a favor. I have things to do at home. I can't. Sorry, I have to go. I'll answer you later. You avoid things, right? You try to avoid things. And this uh, attitude provides the, um, produces the same result. It's not exciting. It's boring. So they want interaction. They are messaging you. They want to do something with you, perhaps it's not what you expect, and you avoid it. So on one end, you have the, the confrontation person. Um, in relationship counseling, there's always the image, of, often the image of the rhino versus the hedgehog. So the rhino will go straight to the fight, you know, trying to, to fight whenever there's something wrong, he would really go head down and, and, and rush at you. The hedgehog would be whenever there's the beginning of a conflict or something that would create tension, he would put like this. I'm a bit of a hedgehog. Um, and I, uh, I did, uh, had a therapy, I, I worked really hard on, on this, on how I could express and be more assertive. So you'll have a tendency to be more of a hedgehog or a rhino. Sometimes we have couples, it's two rhinos and they keep on <laughs> bouncing their head uh, with each other. Sometimes it's rhino hedgehog, sometimes it's two hedgehogs. So, where do you stand? Are you more of a, someone more aggressive or someone who would try to uh, avoid conflict? So what I'm going to tell you, and it's very... Um, I'm just touching a little bit because it's pretty hard for you to, for me to convey all the idea. Or I can't share obviously with the discussions I have with my clients. It's really... Um, really tailored to their needs and I'm using this image because I'm going to talk about recipes so <laughs> I'll write that to you but I want to um, it's a little bit the job I do with my clients who are um, on WhatsApp with me I sort of guide them their communication I sort of tell them what to say what to do I sort of help them grab something take something remove something and therefore because they are not expert because sometimes we're a bit confused it feels good to know that someone um, is helping us. So sometimes I'm the, the, the rat hidden on, I don't know, it's Gusto, his name, um, hidden <laughs> within the, the hat chef uh, cooking recipe for you. And so it's like a good recipe, you have to know how to do it well. Find the sweet spot, the ideal spot, you know, not too sweet, uh, not too salty, right, sometimes. So really find the right balance. So a good example is, there's a part of me that would love it because you are exciting, you're showing attraction, okay? But it's not my style to do that. You know, you calm the other person down. If you want to go out next week or the week after, then why not? Opening, okay? So that's an example. And if you want to ask me a question um, or question about uh, WhatsApp coaching or, you know, you're watching my videos, you've been on my website and you have questions and you need some help, ping me on WhatsApp. There's a link in the description where you get in touch with me directly. It's totally free and we can discuss your situation, see what could be your, um, whether you should break no contact, how you should communicate with your ex, some tips. The idea of those WhatsApp is for me to get to know you because you're a growing community and I love to, to speak with you guys and, and decide together whether coaching is good for you, what sort of coaching, um, and potentially if you need any, any help or any um, recommendation of books or things or therapists or stuff like that, I'll be there to guide you. Uh, it's kind of um, a way for me to enhance the experience that you have right now watching videos, which is good, but it's very much passive. So I want to be creating something more interactive with you Get in touch with me on WhatsApp, it's totally free. The link is in the description. So it's really how you find this balance, you know? A little bit like when you're in seduction, when with 
someone you neither too excited or needy nor too distant you have to find the right balance and once you find this balance the other person will fight for you so the thing is it's a bit like walking on a rope you have to find the right balance but once you have you can really walk miles and miles almost you know there's a guy who managed to cross between the uh, the twin towers uh, back in the days so obviously he's quite good but that's the point once you are on the sweet sweet spot your ex will think okay i want this person in my life i want that person because he or she makes me <laughs> sort of uncertain about why i took that decision i want to be around that person i admire that person i have respect for that person usually after a breakup we have we lose any respect from our ex because they think okay i'm the winner they are losers i took the decision i'm better off by regaining that respect by rebuilding that that's what i do with my clients your ex becomes addicted and wants to recreate what they lost because they lost something and they would want it back they would fight hard for that that was it if you have any question anything don't hesitate to comment don't hesitate as well to like the video and i'll see you next time bye bye i get my ex everyone deserves a second chance